This is Jared, a.k.a. The Saint of Sins, coming at you with some Mass Effect 3 demo. And no, I'm not playing the single player, I'm playing the multiplayer. Uh, but before we get into that, I know, I know, we've been through this song and dance before, and I'm getting way too used to opening up these videos with these apologies about how I just keep slipping back into my depression and how it's affecting my work rate with these videos. But I know you're you're tired of hearing about the excuses. You just want to see the content. So let's get into it right here. I'm playing m the multiplayer uh, aspect of the game with my friend, Mr. Al Sharpton, a.k.a. Nick Manning 69 and my brother, Grand Master J, who is literally the reason I got into the Mass Effect franchise. If not for him, I probably wouldn't even even have been trying this game out. Uh, or any of its uh, previous installments. So, yeah, I have him to thank for what you're about to hear, uh, which is a, 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 a rant about this practice that uh, the gaming industry has taken up that really does divide its fan base from the actual corporate side of, of the business. Um, for those of you a little bit unaware, here's a little bit of a backstory. On Tuesday, February 21st, 2012, Mass Effect 3's From Ashes DLC was leaked onto the Xbox Live Marketplace. It was revealed um, within it some sensitive information that contained spoilers uh, to the main story. So um, right off the bat, I'm just going to say... For those of you who have tried ever so hard to avoid all of the spoilers pertaining to this story and um, the deal, uh, the contents within this DLC, ever since reading about um, this uh, happening, I'm going to put your mind at ease right now and say that I'm not going to put any spoilers. I'm not going to say any any spoilers uh, regarding the content of this DLC. So you can continue to listen and watch. The watch this video without any fear of me ruining your day uh that i'm not in the business of ruining breakfast for anyone okay so with that said i have to get into this just a little bit and point out that this is a bit of a controversy simply because of the sensitive na sensitive nature of the uh material simply because it contains so much spoilers and is viewed as being vital to the actual game that it uh, th that it, it is attached to. I don't know why I'm stumbling over my words as much as I am currently. Maybe I'm a little bit drunk and have not been aware that I've been drinking all morning. That would be a new one. Let's see. No bottles around. Okay, I'm good. Anyway, getting back to this. First, we have to uh, understand the comparisons here. Um, that Mass Effect 2 was released with some... Uh, ready to launch, ready for launch, I should say, downloadable content in the Cerberus Network and Zaid Masani, uh, who was a, a, a companion to Shepard, uh, who was not very vital to the story and really didn't add a whole lot and um, was pretty much uh, partially ready and placed on the on the actual disc, but wasn't fully completed. And everyone accepted this and was fine with it. Uh, here, however, it seems as though um, a lot of people are jumping to the conclusion that this is content ripped straight from the disc and being sold to us at an additional price to, uh, I guess, ramp up the uh, the f the figures and uh, of the sales of this game, um, and, and it's unfortunate because it does tend to lean that way because of what's involved in the disc. That it leaves a lot of people uh, thinking that Bioware and EA are hacking bits and pieces of the game out of the disc in order to make an extra buck on downloadable content. And given the EA's history, uh, it's not so far out of the realm 
of uh, people's understanding of this company that they would do such a thing. Now, granted, they're probably not the most egregious of these um, uh, wrongdoings. Still, they are one of the main companies relatively known for this action of pretty much taking advantage of the downloadable content or, or downloadable nature of this this generation of gaming to pretty much uh, add in content or remove content from a, from from a game to in order to uh, advance sales um, one way or the other. Now I'm kind of drifting off of my notes here. I, I I I'm gonna apologize if I sound a little bit incoherent. My mind's been running at about a million miles, um, <laughs> jumping between this and all these other fucking topics that I've been talking about all all day long on YouTube with uh, random people. It, it, long story short, uh, Uncle Jared fell off the bandwagon and fell into some pretty hard arguments with people just for the sake of getting his jollies off in arguing with people. Moving on, uh, it is it is to say that the From Ashes DLC is free for download for anyone that purchased the collector's or the PC's di digital deluxe edition of the game. Now, unfortunately, that still means that a bulk of people who bought the game um, its retail edition as opposed to its collector edition are still going to be short, uh, shit out of $10 um, if they want to buy this uh, content. And it's safe to assume that a lot of people are going to want to buy this content simply because it adds a different layer of... Um, a, a different layer to the story and to the gameplay because it does introduce a very interesting character that uh, pretty much shakes up the entire mythos of Mass Effect. Now, um, I guess I, 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 I don't remember if I did bring this up, but uh, for those of you who know, are aware of Total Biscuit, um, you know, you, you, you may, may already know that he's already called for a boycott on the game because of this uh, DLC. And the practice of, of which EA and Bioware seem to be holding out on this content that he, I believe he feels um, was content that was removed from the game's disc in order to, to sell for additional um, funds that uh, really... It's part of a. It, it, he feels. I, I think he feels that the that the game is incomplete because this content was removed from it in order to, um, well, force us to to pay an additional ten dollars for something that we should already own on our disc. Um, I guess I could break it down a little bit. I'm I'm a little bit all over the place. I, I apologize. Let me see if I can gather my my bearings here and try and explain this a little bit um producer michael gamble stated that the game mass effect 3 is quote unquote complete right out of the box he then continued on the bioware message board stating we're happy to confirm that mass effect 3 from ashes dlc will be available at launch for all platforms for those of you who have purchased the n7 collector's edition including the pc digital deluxe edition you will get this content at no extra charge we'll have a lot more details for you later this week i haven't seen any of those details yet but then again i did most of my research earlier this morning around oh uh 9 a.m uh eastern time uh he then continued to state the character in question is optional content that is certainly designed to appeal to longtime fans, which is why he is part of the Collector's Edition offering. Mass Effect 3 is a complete and a huge game right out of the box. The content in From Ashes was developed by a separate team after the core game was finished and not completed until well after the main game went into certification. Uh, continuing, he stated, The Collector's Edition has been sold out in most places for some time now and is becoming very hard to find. Many players prefer not to purchase the digital version. As such, we wanted to make this content available so that Standard Edition buyers could also incorporate the character into their game. Um, 
let's see, executive producer Casey Hudson was tweeting that the DLC develop, was developed by se a separate team after the full game was, con was uh, complete and submitted to cer certification on Sony and Microsoft consoles. Uh, he was then stated as saying, it takes about three months from content complete to bug fixing, certify, manufacture, and ship game discs. In that time, we work on DLC. On Mass Effect 3, content creators completed the game in January and moved on to the From Ashes DLC, free with the collector's edition or you can buy separately. In that time, we work on DLC. DLC has fast certification and no manufacturing, so it, it so if a team works very hard, they can get a DLC done in time to enjoy it with your first playthrough on day one. This was all on his Twitter, and it sounds as though, you know, everything they're saying is right, you know, um, that the game is complete right out of the box, that this DLC is just additional content that's just supposed to add an extra layer of enjoyment for longtime fans because of the 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 actual character that is the main um selling point of this of this content but it does leave a whole lot to question um it, it, when you consider that this practice of ripping content out of the disc and then selling it to us later on as dlc is is it's evident, you know, we've seen it with Bioshock 2's multiplayer, um, I think the first two DLCs were, were actually found to have been on the disc, and all we were purchasing um, were the download codes to unlock it, and I know, uh, I, I believe Capcom is also notorious for this practice with uh, Resident Evil 5, I hope I, I hope I got this right, and um, it's pretty much stated that uh uh one of it that the 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 big game mode that came with the dlc for for resident evil 5 was found to have been completely on the disc um completely finished i believe and that stirred up a lot of a lot of hate a lot of anger actually uh towards towards the the companies and their practice um of dlc and it's unfortunate that you know we have to try and figure out whether or not uh we can believe some of these stories that these companies come up with to excuse why dlc comes out um on launch date or weeks after its initial launch you know so you know, we're all have to be we all have to be a bit skeptical of what we're being sold um, simply because the industry right now is pretty much hacking away at every opportunity they can to try and um, make up for the lost sales in the secondhand department. Well, the video is running out of time. I guess I'm just going to have to save whatever other notes I have here for uh, another video. Um, until then, however, take care, spike your hair. Wait, that's not mine. Oh, well, later.